welcome back guardians to another video. Today we're going to take a look at how to get forsaken armor and guns and what we need to infuse here. I'm not going to talk about forsaken guns because I haven't had one dropping for me so far. But we're going to take a look how we can upgrade gear 1 guns and armor. I'm also going to give a small tip on how to farm planet materials quick and easy. And in the end of the video, I'm going to discard one of my Forsaken armor to see what we get out of that. So the most important thing, if you want to get your hands on Forsaken armor or guns, is you have to finish your Flashpoint on Mars. All you need to do is for Hero Public Events, and you can go and grab Thanks your loot from Anna Bray. So first thing we do is go on Mars and finish four Heroic Public Events. You can open up your ghost then and hover over Anna Bray and you'll see this. Visit Anna for a reward. Point to note, if you finish your Solace's armor set, your armor Let's will drop together. at a higher light level and you won't be able to equip the Forsaken gear because of your base level that's too low. You can also see random rolls on this helmet that I just got. And interesting is that we can already see what planet materials we need to upgrade your one armor and guns. So we'll start off with the guns. Uh, pretty interesting point about guns right here. Um, for example, I have a 387 submachine gun. You can pretty much infuse any primary gun that you'd like to. It doesn't have to be a submachine gun anymore. You can infuse this um, hand cannon, uh, scout rifle, anything. And as we can see in the bottom screen, uh, we need Al uh, alkane dust for this. Um, I'll pick another example because the the, the guns they don't it doesn't matter as long as it's class one guns you can you can do everything in your primary into your primary. But the difference will be the um, planet materials that you need. So sometimes they can variate from uh, one another. Mm. So this one, for example, is dust light. Uh, and all you need is glimmer and legendary shots. It, obviously, if you infuse an exotic into a legendary, you're already paying legendary shots for discarding an exotic, so the game doesn't require you to um, put in legendary shots anymore. But if you're doing a legendary into legendary, yes, you have to pay 10 legendary shots. Uh, a couple other examples uh, for the secondary guns you can infuse anything again into anything. Uh, base power is too low for this one. Let's pick a lower one. The 350 auto rifle right here. Um, we can infuse again anything into it and again we need dust light for this auto rifle the number I think we have a hand cannon see if anything's different for this uh, separate yeah so again this is from Mars separate um, and we have a grenade launcher if we want to infuse something into it we go back on dust light some earth so for heavies, it's also the same. If you have a sword, for example, you can infuse anything into your sword just to make it more powerful. Um, and again, Alcane does for this, and you can infuse exotics into it as well. So for guns, you can infuse any gun, like a primary into a primary, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be the same uh, as in year one. So you can just infuse anything as long as it's um, in the same uh, class. Going on um, armor now, armor is pretty interesting as well, so I did get, uh, let's see, we do not, no, we didn't get a helmet, but right here, so this is a hard one to um, show what we can infuse into this, see this exotic, this, I only got one lower level exotic, um, and as we can see again, dust light, so again, it's a planetary material you need, uh, and legendary shards comes in for gauntlets. I also I only got this, an exotic gauntlet and arcane dust again. And then I do have a legendary gauntlet to see what we need for infusion. Um, and this is microphasic Daedalus. Moving on, uh, chest plate. So I did get a chest plate from, uh, 
for my flashpoint and if I want to infuse that into this cost me arcane dust but moving on to this if I want to infuse something in the um, chest plate I need something called Eteric Spiral. Well, there's no Eteric Spiral right now in the game, so you can't find it. My best guess is that this is going to be um, one of the new materials you can farm uh, in Forsaken then, probably. I, I can't tell for sure. We'll find out. Um, same thing for Brutes again. Uh, lower level Brutes here. What do we need? Uh, well. The good thing is, uh, exotic into exotic is just clear. My bear in mind is just year one armor I'm talking about. It's not year two. Uh, Alcane does again. And, well, pretty much is, I can't show this one out because I pretty much don't have anything lower than the base level I have. So the only new thing was um, for the, um, if you have forsaken armor, would you need to infuse that? Like you need a Terex Spiral then. So, like I said in the video, um, in the beginning, I'm going to discard one piece of armor just to see what we can get. I'll do... I had my um, Hunter helmet for this. A 3... a 406. I pretty much... oh wait. Uh, my bad. It's going to be the Warlock helmet. So pretty much I don't need this. Uh, I'm going to get a lot more, so all I want to see is what do we get out of this. So, actually nothing. Just some Legendary Shards. I'm going to try it with this one too. And again, nothing special. The reason I'm discarding the armor is uh, I, I, I generally do not need this right now. So just to see, there's nothing new. Only materials and legendary shards so far. Mm. And as you can see, my materials weren't full here. So nothing special. So easy way how to farm your planet materials is make sure you have a ghost on obviously everyone got this um mine's got um chess and uh you can see the caches and resources and make sure either way in your secondary or heavy slot you have a sniper on this will make it a lot easy so the second you, you spawn in somewhere you can see this so this already tells me there's a chest over here because if i point it out with my hand cannon you can't see it uh, obviously my shotgun you can't see it but the second I pull out my sniper you can see everything and uh, well there's a chest down there and there is a chest over there as well and you can also see the materials basically having a sniper it makes it so much more easy to go and farm for everything and then a couple of things to note these ones, the materials itself, they're worth either way one or six. So maybe every once in a while you get six for um, getting one of those. And the chests give you a guarantee of four. I'm not mentioning, um, but you can also do lost sector and then the boss will, uh, the chest will drop you four, which I'm not doing because that's a lot of time. You can just run. And all you want to do is once you pick up all your chests is go back and spawn into the same area by just generally doing this uh, fast travel to the same area if you solo if you're with a team this is not gonna work uh, but if you solo this is guaranteed gonna work it's gonna refresh the whole area for you and you can start farming again I'm leaving out public events and lost sectors out of this because if you're solo and you're trying to do a public event that will take you too long three minutes or something four minutes uh, depends on the public event and you only get four materials out of that it's totally not worth it however if um, if you're with a team what you can do is uh, two people doing the public event or just one doing the public event you guys keep switching keep grabbing chests in between and by the time you have to kill the boss actually everyone be there you know kill the boss and everyone grab that for extra but it's not really worth it in my opinion um, the only thing that's worth it is uh, just picking up the chests on the planet and uh, the material so right now we're on a bigger planet on Io um, just to make it easy again same thing I'm gonna pull up my sniper see where to go so first chest is right here um, and as you can see also the material on my goals however the only thing you'll see, it says um, the combo again. 
So caches and resources. So just, just try and fight yourself a ghost and keep switching the ghost over from character to character. But in my opinion, the hunter is the best. Because as you can see now as well on my radar, I, I'm near something. I, I know there's something near me. Um, so having a hunter is a great idea. Uh, chest should be really close to this place. So there we go. And same thing can be done in these larger areas. What you want to do in larger areas, however, is from time to time you want to pick up your sparrow, move on a bit because these areas are uh, way larger. So if you pick them up, you come over here. And as you can see, there, there we go, another chest. Just walked up a couple of steps and a couple of steps back and I couldn't even see the chest. There you go. So having a sniper always makes a big difference. Um, if you guys need a farming video for every single planet or six planets, I can make it separate But for now, this is a really quick one just to show you how to farm quick I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you do likes much appreciated if you're new to the channel subscribe for more and I'll see you guys on my next video